Mark Twain, he said that he never let the truth get in the way of a good story. I consider myself a sensitive. Um, I'm not going to say a visual mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I, I don't. I don't like to rectify myself as a medium or a psychic because I, I really don't believe in those. Um, I don't think anybody can foretell your future. I think your future is in your own hands, but I believe that there is things of the unknown and things on the other side. We were over For there. unknown reasons to me, I'm not sure, but um, uh, I can hear the static and the breathing in my earpiece. When I had Chris check my levels and everybody was quiet and I heard nothing in my headphones, but our audio levels were peaking at red uh, for no reason. After a few moments, um, I, I, I moved from the spot. Hey, get over here. Get over here. Jeff, this is actually a strong. And my car alarm went off. And we came down back over here to look at the car, see if everything's okay. And nobody was here. Nothing was here. Spirit orbs are very intense in the middle. There's almost like a, um, a nucleus in the center, and there's a lot of energy form inside these orbs. Dust particles are very clear. You can actually see through them. This town has had quite numerous different hauntings in different locations. I think I've been here before. My husband's only been dead. It'll be six months tomorrow. devil so powerful that he can even represent the angel of light and misguide people. They'll see a gentleman looking out the window at them. We're here testing the waters. Back here, There's something that always draws people back to Virginia City. We're here to give you nothing but strictly truth with no alterations, no fabrications, no overlays or anything. Nothing's been tampered with. Everything that you see is going to be strictly true. I can literally feel evil. I have also I seen things move without any I'm not response. sure what that is. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm Mike, I'm with the other sides. A lot of people don't know of this place, but we're gonna take you inside and show you what the truth is behind the paranormal. According to legend and story, this place has been haunted for over 200 years. The stories behind different entities and apparitions and things being heard or people being touched or people being shoved. We're here at Cathedral Canyon here in Nevada very unknown location. So we're going to take you inside these cemetery gates. So let's take a walk. Along with my crew, after the gates that we'll be entering to go into the canyon, it's going to show itself. It's going to manifest, no matter what kind of equipment you have. There used to be a Mother Mary statue. The head's been decapitated off the statue. I've seen people shoved. I've seen people tripped. I've seen people have their hair pulled out here when there was nothing around. You hear that coming from back there, John? Sounds like somebody's talking. All right, we're going to walk out to the front because I think something's following us through here. If he's trying to make contact, which we don't do. We don't use Ouija boards, we don't do seances, and we don't summon the dead. Sure, it's intriguing and entertaining, but why not bring the truth of entertainment to the table like we are doing here at the other side? Remember, be careful and cautious at all times. Don't take it as a game, because it's not. There's something up there. I won't consider myself a ghost hunter, because that's not what we are. We're out to give the world some kind of truth behind what paranormal, what it actually represents, according to my truth.
putting up dead, which is all against the word of scripture. You have played with Ouija boards. Mm -hmm. You can hear his voice in your head. I know mine talk to me all the time. It's like a fight between good and evil, and we're just in the middle, so you need to follow the good and remember that we don't play with what's passed on. I wanted to dig up and look for a body, but he told me if you find a body, you gotta give it to the government. We had to put cement down, because he knew I'd start digging. Don't you find this rather odd? All of a sudden, there's something that approached you. You think it's your family member or your friend, because that's who it looks like, but it's not. Keep an open mind. Don't let your imagination run away with you. I did have one really bad spirit when I moved in here. I am hearing some strange noises out here. When I was 14 and I was into black magic, I did something against a girl I didn't like in school and it worked. And it scared me. Yeah, I'm not afraid. I've got God on my side, so Christ in my heart, I'm not afraid. But there are things that, that would make you afraid. Try to, anyway. Mm -hmm.